Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today with a recipe for you. It's a keto recipe and I'm making it out of the Southern Keto Cookbook. And this book is by Natasha Newton. So I ordered this on Amazon. It's got a lot of great keto recipes in it. And the one I'm making today is home fried bacon radishes. So there's a picture of it. It's not gonna have the green stuff in it though because I don't have any parsley. So anyway, um, I'm gonna here's the recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what's in it, except the parsley. Okay, so it calls for one 16 ounce bag of radishes. I bought eight, I mean eight. I bought three eight ounce bags of radishes, and I have about two and a half of those in there. Um, it calls for six slices of bacon, and it calls calls for salt and pepper, and that's it. So basically, it says to um, trim the radishes all up, cut the ends off, and that is what I have already done. I've cut the ends off, I washed them, and they are ready to go in the pan. But first of all, it says in a large skillet, what I have to do is go ahead and fry up the bacon until it's almost crispy, and then get the bacon out, leave the bacon grease in the pan, then I'm gonna put the radishes in. So basically, um, let me show you what I have here. I have a half, I mean, I have a pack of bacon laying right here. I'm going to cut this pack in half, and then I'm going to put half of it up because I'm going to put this in a pot of beans later tonight to cook all night for the family dinner tomorrow. And then, okay, so I'm just going to put that right there to the side. So basically what I'm going to do is cut this in little slices so I don't have to uh, crumble it up later. It'll just already be kind of crumbled. Now I've got my pan here. You can see my pan. You probably can't see my pan. Yeah, here's my pan. So I'm just going to get these slices in the pan and let them get all nice and fried up and crumbly. The only way I've ever tried radishes is raw, so this should be a new experience for sure. But they're supposed to be good, especially on keto, so I'm up to trying some new things. Okay. That's good. If any of you have any good recipes for radishes, let me know. Because there's a couple recipes in this book. I saw a good one somewhere about um, baking them in your oven or oven roasted radishes. So, okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the this bacon go to town and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back when the bacon is done and I'll get the bacon out of the pan and we'll go on with the next step. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I've got the bacon to the point of almost burnt. I don't know why I've got my, my heat sitting on high. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take you down here, show you what I'm getting ready to do. Okay, so the bacon is good to go. Now, what I'm going to do is just get it all out, put it in this bowl, and leave the drippings. And this could take all day, so I'm going to use a slotted spoon. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty dark bacon there. Anyway, it'll still be good. I like my bacon a little on the darker side. But the thing of it is, it's got to come back in here for 10 minutes at the end after doing the um, radishes. Okay, that's all the bacon out of the pan. Here's the bacon. You can see how dark it is. It's definitely crispy. So I'm going to set that down there. So, what I'm going to do, got my radishes here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bacon grease. I've got to saute these up for 10 minutes. Okay, after the 10 minutes is up, I add this bacon back in and I cook for 10 more minutes. So, got them in here and I think this is, I mean, it has to be good, right? It said not to put the salt and pepper in until at the end, but I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this pink Himalayan salt. Just a little bit. 
Okay. Now, give it a good stir. Alright guys, so I'm going to cook these for 10 minutes and then I'll be back to show you when I add the bacon. Okay guys, so I've cooked the radishes for 10 minutes, sauteed them up, and now I'm getting ready to add the bacon in. So I'm just going to show you what they look like right now. What they look like. Some of them are starting to get a little color to them. Um, let me find one and show you here. If I can. Oh, come here. Come here. Okay, you see that? It has a little bit of color to it, so... What I'm going to do now is add this bacon back in the pan, okay, stir it up, and it said 10 more minutes. Um, it, it may take longer than that because I do want these radishes to be tender. I guess they're supposed to be, really. So I'm going to cook these for 10 more minutes, and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like then. Stay tuned. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified when I upload a video. I do keto recipes, regular recipes, Dollar Tree hauls, Kroger haul, Aldi haul, Walmart haul, Dollar General hauls, and unboxing of like uh, BoxyCharm. I'll be doing, um, let's see, BoxyCharm, something. What else? I ordered, let's see, the Ip Ipsy bags those and then i've ordered one more but i can't for the life of me think of the name of it but anyway if you are interested in watching stuff like that just please hit that subscribe button okay guys i'm back it's been about 10 more minutes and um, i'm going to show you what it looks like i feel like it's pretty much about done okay some of these are looking really I feel like some of them, the bigger ones, are going to be like tender crisp. I don't know. Maybe not. But I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, cracked black pepper in here. Give it a little bit more flavor. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more. This is just the pink Himalayan salt in a shaker. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of this in there as well. Need that pink Himalayan saw on the keto. Good stuff. I do feel like there is a lot of bacon grease left in here still, so I'll probably use a slotted spoon whenever I dish it out just to make sure I don't want an abundance of that um, of that bacon grease on my plate. But anyway, um, these look pretty darn good. I feel like they're about the consistency or the color of what's in here. You can tell here. So I'll probably just go ahead and turn this off and I'm going to heat me up a chicken thigh to go with it. So I'll be back in just a few minutes to show you my plate. Okay guys, so dinner is done. Um, I've portioned me out. By the way, this is said a fourth of this recipe has two net carbs. So I'm going to say I got about almost half of that so i'm going to say i got about four net carbs of this so i just want to show you i have a leftover chicken thigh that i made in the air fryer last night and then i have the um radish bacon whatever i said it was called <laughs> uh, yeah so it, as you can see it looks absolutely gorgeous and i'm going to go ahead and give her a little this with my finger just to see how it is It's really good. It absolutely is not <clears throat> a potato, okay? But I just feel like that if you are really hankering for a potato, that this right here will definitely satisfy your craving for a, a whole lot less carbs. So that was very good and tasty. I would recommend salt, um, just because I salt everything anyway. So I'll salt these again. And I'm going to get off of here and chow down. So there is the keto radish bacon fry i didn't close my book so i can't remember the name of it but it's on the title you'll see that anyway thank you guys for watching i just want to come back on here and say after that cooled down and i got a couple of good bites of it 
Um, I just want to let you know I'm crazy about it. It is really, really good. It's not that difficult. And as a keto side dish, I just feel like I'll definitely be making it again. It's super, super tasty. And it just has big flavor, especially when you get a bite that has like one of the little pieces of bacon in it. I love it. It's really, really good. So, once again, it is from Southern Keto Cookbook. I went through here, and these are all recipes that I want to make um, and do videos of. So, as you can see, there's quite a few in here. Um, so, I'll be doing quite a few recipes, and they're probably all going to be good. I've heard nothing but good stuff about this book. So, if you are keto and you don't have it, it's really, really a good book. Anyway, thanks for watching again.